Geometry, skill 351, areas of rectangle with the same perimeter. So a rectangular field is 100 yards wide and 150 yards long. It's bigger than a football field. Uh, give the length and width of another rectangle that has the same perimeter but a larger area. So we got a little bit of calculation to do. Okay. Uh, so for example, add 10 yards to the width, subtract 10 yards from the length. So my new rectangle is 110 yards by 140 yards. Now again, uh, we, we added 10, we took 10 from that and put it on the other one. So instead of being, instead of my rectangle, I know we need this, I need to see this too. Instead of my rectangle being 100 uh, by 150, we'll call this Make a second one. Instead of my rectangle being 100 yards, by 150 yards, it's going to be wider and shorter. Not that much wider. So 110 yards by 140. If you don't trust me on the math, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and find out that the perimeters are exactly the same. Okay. So now we need to find the area of these two. Now this one, this problem is pretty straightforward. Okay, we can multiply them together. And again, because I'm multiplying by 100, it's it's pretty easy because all I have to do is add two zeros. So 150 times 100 is 150,000. I'm sorry, not 150,000, 15,000 yards, square yards. Okay, got to have my square here. All right, so square yards. So there's my answer for that. That's how many square yards this is. So now, what we need to do is we need to find the area for this problem over here. So we need to multiply. Now, I'm going to do some sh some shortcuts here. First and foremost, I'm going to get rid of these two zeros. So I'm just going to do 11 times 14. Now, what I can do at the end, I can go back and add the zeros. No problem. Okay, because anything, anything times zero is zero, and anything plus zero is what I started with. So I know that the zeros are good to go. Now, here's a hint when multiplying by 11. Okay, I'm going to start, I take the 14, and I split it. Okay, so I took the 1 and the 4, and then I put a space in the middle. Well, what's 1 plus 4? 5. That's the number that goes in the middle. That's the, so 11 times 14 is 154. Now, don't forget, i got to add those two zeros. So my answer is 15,400. 15,400 uh, square yards. So you can see, just because two shapes have the exact same perimeter does not mean my area is going to be the same. And just because the perimeter is the same doesn't mean the area is going to be the same. All right, so that is area of rectangles with the same perimeter.